detailed information from the areas already affected by the incoming tide. So, assuming a surge tide of six feet, or 1.82 meters on top of a high tide, this is what we can expect. Of course, we can only estimate at the moment. Most of London seems to be reluctant for us to flood them just to see if we're right. Uh, but we haven't taken these pictures right up to the 18-foot datum Newlin line, which we expect to be the limit of the threat area. Nor have we taken into account any major downstream breaches of the riverside defences. So these pictures are reconstructions, or predictions, if you like, of the surge tide I've just mentioned. It has been said that these photographs are rather fanciful, and I couldn't defend them against that. We cannot predict with absolute accuracy the depth of flooding street by street under any given circumstances, but they bring home rather more forcefully the situation we might face. More forcefully than the simple facts and figures you've seen already. Makes you sit up, in fact. Makes most of us sit up, that is. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just saying, Mr. Van Riep, that these photographs give us at least some idea of the consequences of a significant overtopping. You don't agree? No wind, no damage, no bodies. There's not much we can do about the wind. The damage and the bodies are exactly what the Thames Barrier is intended to prevent. You don't agree with that either? Your barrier should have been built 50 years ago, after the floods of 28, Mr. Dodds. Before the floods of 28, I would have thought. A few fake photographs won't make anyone sit up, as you put it. Pictures of a car crash don't stop drunken drivers. And these? Well, they even make flooding look pretty. And what would you sooner have? Pictures of a drowned man, I suppose. I'd sooner do without a pictures at all. People who know what they're doing don't need pictures. Show the people of London what to do. Take them out in the streets and show them. Take them in the underground stations and hospitals and show them. Not very realistic. Neither are your pictures. Look, you make every little office and every school in London go through a fire drill at least once a year. Yet not one single coordinated flood drill, when the whole city could go under. You can't shut a whole city down for an academic exercise. Oh, well, then pray to God it stays academic. Well, I think we've covered this ground before, gentlemen. And I see it's 3.30. The cars will be waiting downstairs. In view of the weather, I think it's better that we should be early rather than late. I shall meet you back here. I've, uh, I've seen the barrier before, you might say. Congratulations. You did it again. Well, you do make it rather easy for me. You know, I still wish you'd pick on someone else to deliver your speeches. You suit me fine. I couldn't have put it better myself. Well, who was it this time? The ministry? The council? It's an MP, actually. Oh, well, thanks very much. Well, I can hardly say such outrageous things myself, can I? You know, a few more of your um, informal meetings, and I shall become the most unemployable man in Europe. Nonsense. Give you your job any time, if it weren't for these cutbacks. <laughs> sure. But, you know, he was right about one thing. It is all a bit academic now, isn't it? Will be, when the barrier's completed. And meanwhile, you still need your profits of doom. Not doom, old chap. Simple caution. Now, you can afford to play with words in England. We can't afford anything in England. But I stand your cup of tea anyway. Thanks. Don't bother. I'll get it. Oh, uh, if that's home, keep it short. Two, six, four, six. Hello. Hi. How'd it go? Oh, same as always. I do a two-minute spiel on how marvelous the barrier's going to be and then fall asleep. You should go to bed earlier. Well, going to bed isn't the problem. Mm, so I've noticed. <laughs> I could be with you by six. Six thirty. Lovely. Bye. As soon as Bye. I can. Bye. Bye. All right over there, are they? Oh, yes, thanks. They're fine. You staying on for a drink? What, so you can fill me up with scotch and really let me rip at your friendly MP? He won't be there. He's not my friendly anything. Well, he was full of your praises at lunchtime. What happened? Oh, he's been full of my praises ever since it became fashionable. 
Six years ago, he fought an election on cutting costs. I was one of his costs. Well, he sacked you? No. Just let me twiddle my thumbs for two years. So that's why you keep the pressure up? Well, I hardly call it pressure. Pinpricks, that's all. Just to remind them what might happen if there was another delay now. Is that likely? Not at this stage, no. Well, I've lost count of the number of times I've said that. A week in politics might be a long time. Just let him try living with two high tides a day. Yeah. Or 30 feet below sea level. Well, nobody would be that daft. Why don't you Dutch all live on stilts? For the same reason you English never surrender. Well, that's just obstinacy. Oh, no. That's a firm conviction that God is keeping a special eye on us. In spite of all the evidence to the contrary. Bugger! He can't see in them new glasses. The old ones were all right. He wouldn't have it. Spending a fortune again. I've told him once, I've told him a hundred times. It's age. I know, I've seen him. He wants to take it careful. Want a hand, love? Done it now. It's all a bit con, any case, glasses. Price they charge. National Health's bad enough. Them frames are no different, you know. No different at all. I didn't want them different. I can't see the point. The old ones were broken. You should have got some new ones then. I did. Different, I mean. You have some tea, love. No, I've had enough. How about you, love? Tell her. You want to be careful, you know. You shouldn't have too much. Can't have any more. Easy enough, I know. Just got to watch yourself. Not like me. I did everything right up till the last minute. Well, I had to. I mean, it was different then, what with the war on. <laughs> there he goes again. <laughs> it's not right, you know. Your Terry should be here. I mean, what good is he over there? Manoeuvres, I told you. <laughs> Manoeuvres. I hardly see him from one year to the next. Can't have been a year, love. How do you spell alleviate? Hey? Well, the extra money will alleviate the problem. Make things easier. I started it now. Two wells. Give him our love. Yeah, right. Don't you go out in the rain with that. Your dad'll do it. Arthur can do it. If he ever gets here. Come on, lad. Home. Nearly finished. Said that an hour ago. Want some coffee? No, thanks. Just had some. I should think it's coming out of your ears. Yeah. That's two jars since last Monday. I'll bring some in tomorrow. Good. I'd better be off. Right time. Just make the model shop. Oh, dear. You and your trains. Talk about taking your work home with you. Yeah. See you in the morning. Right. Oh, uh, that escalator. They'll fix it tonight. Now, look, just get off home, otherwise you'll still be here when they do. out there. Bloody leave it out there. I'm soaking. You would be, yeah. Rover 3500, dark blue. Full Capri 1600, yellow and black. Full Granada green. Vauxhall Cavalier red. Mia Ferrari red. I don't like that foreign stuff. That's more them around. Job to get British. Yes, I know. I read the papers. Shocking, innit? 200. 250. You're not in the bleeding bazaar now. 200. You said 50 each. That was yesterday. Haven't you heard there's a slump on? Yeah, that's what they said down the job centre. You know it's right then, don't you? Radios? Rover Grenada and a what? None of 10. Leave it out. Oh, 15. You see a frame tonight? And if I am? Sure, he was asking. She can ask. 
somebody else. She's all right. She's just like... Oi. Come here. Come on. Come here. Here. Now, your sister, my brother, no. You come creeping round here again with that, and I'll see to her, and I'll see to you something. <laughs> just ask Yeah, you. well, don't. Uh, no, all I'm right? In. Yeah. Right? Mum did in. Yeah. Now, piss off. I want to close up. See ya. Great, really great. Brighten up this dreary afternoon now, Ed. However, first the bad news. All rain and strong winds forecast for tonight, so button up the old caps. And now the good news. The first spin for a brand new band. See what you think. Hello? Hello, Frankie. Jerry. You gonna be home tonight? Yeah. Now, now we'll have a little chat. I suppose our Frank could have gone in the army and all. Didn't know about this slump then, did we? Poor little beggar, he's willing enough. Just need someone to give him a chance. Oh, well, it'll come soon enough. It can't last forever, can it? I hope that's Arthur. I don't know how Brenda puts up with it. She must have the patience of a saint. Being a nurse and all, that's what does it. He doesn't know he's born. Come on, what time do you call this? It's all very well telling her. You want to get next door and see a bit more of your family, my lad. Yeah, all right, Mum. Hello, love. All right. Blooming. Yeah, I can see that. Can't be long now, eh? Still three weeks. Yeah, right. Uh, you stayed about? Out the back. And don't you stop yakking out there all day. Kids were home half an hour ago. You get along and see them. Better off in here, ain't you? Get on your bleeding wick, them two. I meant the weather. There we are. LMSR Hughes 260. Crab class. Crab? Yeah, because of the cylinders, see? Oh, yeah. Lovely job. Beauty, in it? Must have set you back a bob or two. Yeah, well, we're all right now, ain't we, with Bren owning and all? Sure, money. Yeah. Oh, um... This come for you this morning. From out clear, is it? Uh, yeah, I, I would have dropped it round, but, Mum, you know. No, you're done right. No way to start the day. What a bleep way to run a family. Writing from Kensington to Bermondsey, I ask you. She'd come round like a shot, you know, except for Mum. Bloody good mind to hit the reds together. Yeah, get over it. it. Just takes time. You've had two bleeding years. Yeah, but Mum don't hold with divorce. Considering that's the first she knew her daughter was married, I can't say I'm surprised. It's a pity, though. Still your favourite, isn't she? I don't play favourites. Yes, sir? Yeah, of course I do. Same as I would any of you. Worry about her too. Yeah. Well, Bren will have my bit of tea ready. I'll nip out round the back. Don't blame you. Right Mother's Union in there must be the weather. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly seen some pretty atrocious weather today, and come to that, there's some more to come. 
Actually, the rain we had was due to these frontal systems, but they've moved on quite smartly, and I think we can just about forget them now. But we can certainly not forget this area of low pressure. Hell. That was now partly Frank. responsible for the rain, but more than that, responsible for the very strong winds that we've had today. And this area of low pressure is actually going to move southeastwards uh, during the next 24 hours down the North Sea. And as it does so and still continues to deepen, so those winds will increase further. And it's not going to be helped by the fact that there's an area of, low, of high pressure from the northwest, and that's going to add to the general squeeze. But now if we look at the satellite photograph, I think straight away... I can't you can see, see the, the point. I really can't. Down the North sea, this thick thick throwing it down all day. Our Frank here got soaked now, coming home. Your father the same when they closed now. at 3 o'clock. Me and Joyce can't get out all day, and he has to go and get a satellite picture to show us what's going on in the street outside. I mean, what's the point? It shows he's right, doesn't it? I don't know what all these new arrows mean. Numbers. Them old wobbly and spiky lines, they mend up and cold, didn't they? I could understand them. They told you what the weather was going to be like, like they were supposed to. It's science, isn't it? Science. It's all science these days. Hey, up. Five fish suppers and a little something to wash it down. He'll do for me and our Joyce. I'll get the glasses. Don't you move a finger, Dad. Frankie and I'll sort it out, won't we, son? Oh, yeah, right. Thoughtful, isn't he? Thirsty, more like it. I mean, about the cooking and all. Very nice. Oi. Now, you come round a garage, 7... 7.30, we take one car each down to Red Hill first thing, get the train back, another two in the afternoon, right? Why Red Hill? That's a long way around for Brum, isn't it? They've done Freddy over, ain't they? They have all yesterday. We're clear, though. I'll give him nothing since the weekend. <laughs> He's fitting up that greasy little sub with a sister, what fancy to you. Little Sherry. <laughs> yeah, what's his name? Tommy Woods. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Just don't let me catch you round, that Sherry bird. Why not? Mama, do a nut, you catch a dose, and you wouldn't. Do we starve to death? Wait till we die of thirst. I was just telling old boy a few of the facts of life there. I'm glad somebody has. Yeah. Couldn't bring myself to spoil that rosy blush of innocence. Ha. Up, you can have those gold studs back. Hmm. You check that with Tilbury. Oh, as soon as I saw it, about half an hour ago. Nah, it's a bit of finger trouble, if you ask me. I hope so. Otherwise, I'm under about three feet of water. <laughs> Something about a new solenoid, they said. It was okay before low tide, and it's just that little hiccup. Hmm. Better make a note on the shoot when you change them over. Ah, oh, considering the wind factor, we're doing pretty well. Yep. Pretty those poor bastards up north. Yeah, and Holland looks like copying it again, if anything does happen. Mind you, that North Shields figure's up nearly two feet. Mm. What about Immingham? Uh, nothing yet. Should be, by now, if it is anything. Do you want me to call Bracknell? No, don't bother. They'll let us know soon enough. Yeah. What time is the alert cancelled? Uh, 16.07. Aren't you late for the bun fight? No, I'll let the PR boys fill them up with plonk first. Ah, you want them in fighting mood again, eh? Quite the reverse. Just as well your flying Dutchman won't be there, then. That Dutch contracts bloke said he was going back this afternoon. Well, he hasn't. I've just left him. Told me he got something on tonight. <laughs> I bet he has. You know, that agency girl, blonde with legs. Well, I hadn't noticed. Ice in the fridge, gin in the bottle.
Looks good. What? Dog work looks good. What? <laughs> Never mind. What do you think? Well, it's a big improvement. You've taken a lot of the lyrical thing out of it. Yes. I hope it'll really hit home. But, Claire, it's still all about what happens after a flood. Ah, uh, you're missing the point. The idea is to show them a lot of angles that they haven't seen before. Not in this way, anyhow. Look. The estimated cost of a major flood. Mm, who picked that figure out of a hat? Thousands of offices, factories, schools will be hit. Always someone else's. Phone, power, gas, water supplies, paralyzed. Well, I'm all right. I live on the second floor. And the underground system won't fully recover within two years, if at all. I'll go by bus. I thought they were quite good. But they are, darling. They simply don't answer some of my objections. Look, Claire, over 60,000 old and infirm people oh. are going to have to be moved out of Southwark alone within two hours with 45 square miles of London underwater. Look, you've got to be selective. You can't just bombard people with information. <laughs> well, it's not your fault they gave you the Cassandra account. Well, we're sorry we can't bring you the European Cup replay from Hamburg. Oh, what? As you might have heard from our early evening news, the match has been postponed because of the recent heavy rain. Bleeding weather. On BBC Two shortly, Charles Wheeler reports from Washington on the latest American fuel crisis. While here on one, there's another chance to see a Clint Eastwood film. Hey! A fistful of dollars. Ah, oh, not again. Well, thanks anyway. Yes, I expect Wally will want to speak to you when he gets back. All right? Fine. You'll move. I just counsel. What Brett not want? I didn't want anything. Mm. All news of hope and good cheer. <laughs> Wind's come round two points in the last hour. Which way? Wrong way, of course. Shifted northerly. Wonderful. I could call Wally, I suppose. What for? Even he can't change the wind back. He might push the rain away, though. Hmm. It's not a bad trick if we can do it. A yeah, wind, you're back. Hello, Whiskey Romeo. This is Romeo Delta 4. Over. <coughs> Whiskey Romeo to Romeo Delta 4. Send over. Romeo Delta 4 assisting Romeo Delta 3, Surrey Docks. What's the latest estimate on high tide? Over. Romeo Delta 4. High water at London Bridge, 4.4 Oscar Delta at 22.34 hours. Over. No change then. Temporary repairs completed 19.30 hours. Put in the log, will you? Over. Roger, now. Who's that? Four. Jimmy Briggs, I think. Haven't you moved yet? Want me to rotate that? It won't go off, you know. Been known to last for days, that stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh, guess I drop more water, eh, right, Frankie? Get your own, will ya? Exercise will do you good. Go on, son. Oh. Got a little job for our Frankie tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah, just delivering a motor down to Red Hill. It's all right. I'll follow him and give him a lift back. Why, Frank? Well, I can't drive two motors at the same time, can I? There's a tenor in it. Might as well go to our Frankie as one of them other tossers. Long as it's all right. Of course it's all right. It's a bit of beer money, isn't it? Yeah, well. You heard from our Claire lately? Yes, matter of fact. Try? Yeah, right as rain. There you are, then. Told her not to worry. 
do with a good eye in she could. About time she was over here, see her mum and you. She knows where we are. I'll go and pick her up, Sunday. You do our mum a power of good. Do her a lot more good if she comes on her own. Yeah, well, that's likely, isn't it? She will, one day. Hmm. Bloody stuck up, that's one. Leave it out, Jerry. See yourself. She can bleed and emigrate for me. We thought you'd gone straight home. Ah, uh, the DG was in a fulsome mood. In fact, they were all pretty chirpy. How far below predicted was her, then? 0.72. The latest from Teddington? They reckon 6,000 million gallons for the day, give or take a pint. Southwesterly kept the channel clear. Hmm. Go down the check on the wind, would you please? Uh, hang on. Speaking. Yes, thanks. 2142. Right. Mine. It's an alert. Oh, that's three in four days. Well, oh, this one's messy, though. Look. Either the southwesterlies kept the channel backed up, as you say, or there was a mini surge down to North Shields, which just petered out. But if you take the outflow from Teddington into account, we still got off too bloody likely. Six thousand million gallons might be a drop in the North Sea, but it's a hell of a lot for this little river. And we've just lost it. Somebody pull the plug out. Bloody big plug. But if it was given a hand by high pressure over Biscay, which well, has now pretty well disappeared, then our figures are nice and cosy. Yeah. And a mile odd. Well, a couple of meters anyway. John, have another word with Teddington, would you? See what the latest is. Stuart, give me a three cornered figure between Richmond, South End, and North Shields, say between 1400 and 1800 a day. You see just how lucky we were. Now, a really superb first round. Well, you're going to work tomorrow. It's past your bedtime, my lad. Past mine, any road. Yeah. yeah, me too. You driving? Yeah. Be all right. Yeah, you want to be a bit careful chucking out time. Them wallies are going to be a bit sharp. Best time, innit? Eh? They will be on the lookout for drugs, <laughs> won't they? <laughs> Just you drive careful. Don't worry. Here, bring her out in the morning, son. I could do it a walk anyway. Good night. I may be daft, but I ain't bleeding stupid. You might have to clear. Time we was in bed, girl. You coming up too, Frankie? Yeah, in a minute, Dad, yeah. You don't have to go driving, you know. It's all right, Dad. Straight up. Okay. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Right. Bye. Right. Teddington reckon they can close the down gates now, so have you seen the rest of this one? What's the picture? Good and bad. Mm. Eel Pie Island, four feet under. Towpath and playing fields down to the old deer park and Kew Gardens between three and three foot six. Chiswick Strand on the green, mainly two feet. Pretty average, really. And downstream of Hammersmith didn't come to within a metre. Par for the course. And the bad news? Well, we can't detect any outflow worth talking about. Look for yourself. Well, we've still got, what, about two hours before the Epsom really start. What's going on up the coast? It's the trouble. No improvement. Bracknell was on when you were talking to Teddington. And? Well, the low is moving over towards Norway, but very slowly. Barometer's falling over Central Europe, it's falling much faster over France and Spain. Uh, 968 up here, 1,004 over here, but here, from 1,026 to 1,012 in the past hour. Wind strength? No change. Not at all. Strengthening force 8 to 9 up north, but no change in direction. What did Bracknell say about that? Oh, well, our educated guess is that the low will certainly come south. Well, hoping that the wind backs and pushes it away east as usual, but following form, of course, 
That ought to have happened about four hours ago. Does anyone feel like a coffee? I really envy some friends of mine. They've had glorious bus stops. Furniture flying about, slanging matches, the whole thing. Julian and me. Well, it just withered on the vine. Literally, I suppose. And we discussed the whole thing in a very civilized manner over a bottle of new Beaujolais. It's as long as we needed. My old mum was furious. Well, why should she be? Well, I hadn't told her I was married in the first place. Ah, that's not so good. <laughs> well, I don't feel too bad about it, not that bit. I can't stand her anyway. She's always whining on in the most appallingly cheerful way. The others are just as bad. <laughs> Except for my brother, Jerry. Now, he's so busy being clever, he opens milk bottles at the wrong end. <laughs> <laughs> well, what sort of a father do you have? Uh, to be responsible for such a brute. Well, he's the only one I miss. Sometimes I miss him a hell of a lot. I saw my father cry once. I had another brother when I was about two. He died a year later. So I don't remember him much. He just died. I don't know why. Come on, let's get back. I've been more than two meters since one o'clock. What do you think? Well, you know as well as I do. We're sitting ducks. Peter, you all right? I thought for uh, a no. The wind woke me. Wind? It's been blowing all day. Not this one. It's from the north. We'll have to wrap up warm tomorrow. It was exactly like this. The sky, the wind, the cold. In 1953, at Alkmaar. What happened? The dike broke at about two in the morning. The first one, anyway. And the sea took over again. We knew it would. We'd been packing and moving things upstairs since before midnight. My father had... He'd taken our bull in a neighbor's truck. I never saw him again. We didn't know how big it would be, none of us. Over seven meters high. The first wave. My brother was helping me put away some toy soldiers in the back bedroom. So I didn't hear my mother or sister scream or anything like that. Just a huge roaring sound like drums or gasoline cans being rolled along. And a smash, an explosion. My brother held on to me. I, I don't know why. And we both held on to the roof for a piece of it. We were carried over four miles. And he kept me on the roof the whole time. And the army found me in the morning, but... by then he'd slipped off into the water. Tiredness. The cold. My God, it was cold. How old were you? Nearly nine. I'm tired. 
Me too. Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. This is Ellen Rose. Out of Grimsby. Damage. Engine room flooded. My front smashed. Require immediate assistance. Is the wind constant? No, for how long? Yeah. Hang on a minute, it's just coming. Hello? Yes, I've just spoken with them. Well, that's the problem. The whole picture's changed in the past half hour. It could change again. Yes, yes, I know the alert's confirmed. Well, Yarmouth isn't London. Yes. Yes, I'll know in the next hour. Right, thanks. Bye. So it's people asking about low tide. <laughs> Don't worry, I told them. Battersea were moaning about their intake channels getting fouled. Could we lower the water so they can take <laughs> a look? Do it straight away. We'll use a bloody big bucket. Right. Wind stayed in the north for nearly an hour now, gusting it over a hundred off Inverness. And the lows followed it down for 40 miles now. One of the oil rigs reported a reading of below 960. God. I reckon we're in for two surges just to make it lively. The one that's hitting Yorkshire and Lincoln now in front of the low pressure. And it's Big Brother that's building with the wind further north. And I reckon that is going to catch up with this one. In time to give Essex a double helping. And that's just the one jumbo size. Well, could the first one give us a miss? It could, but I doubt if it'll be so cooperative. As to avoiding both. Just wishful thinking. Like a lot of things. That's it, it's reached eight feet of Demingham and still building. I'd say a surge of four metres plus at about 1,100 hours. They're about two metres above normal anyway. And high tide at 11.32. What do you think, John? Glad I'm not you. I'll phone the arm myself. Full ballast standby. standby warning was issued at 0525 hours. Designated units switched to channel 5 and standby.
Stuart, it's Jeff. I'm at the Flood Control Centre. We open for business at uh, 0546 hours. Nothing. It's a bit early, yes? OK. Hello, Whiskey Romeo. Flood one radio check. Over. Whiskey Romeo. OK. Over. I hope this is the first and last time I have to use this thing tonight. Over. Seconded. Out. As soon as they get to the docks, ask Jimmy to check everything he can. Well, I doubt the water will be low enough to check everything. Everything he can. Morning, sir. Morning, Henry. What's the latest? Well, the Humber defences stood up very well. Isolated breaches in the old dock area, but the walls and river gates are okay. Good. What height? Well, inconsistent so far. My guess is the surge will stabilise as it moves into the channel. The low stop levels will give us the firmest indication. I'd rather not leave it to low stop. That was erratic too the last time. Morning. Morning, Harry. How many teams have we got out? Three at the moment. The rest on their way. They're concentrating on the work in hand as best they can. As soon as the others come in, I'd like them to concentrate on the Greenwich Reach and Edith Roads. And then move on up to Deptford Strand. Stuart had a look at it a couple of days ago and found mortar erosion over a 15-metre stretch. Some bomb damage during the war. Upstream? Nothing we can do. Overtopping's our problem there. Right. Uh, can I try and get a picture of the build-up so far? Hmm. Okay. How long have we got? Just over an hour. If we don't cancel, I'll move to the control centre. Testing, testing, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, I haven't got the margin this time. Teddington can't hold for one thing they could look for. There wasn't a low tide at Lowestoft. Tonight. still. Oxford Circus phoned through just. Another one of those flood alerts on, they say. They say what time? About 7.30 if it comes to anything. Well, I'm not going to hold my breath. It's the first time ever if they do go on with it. They haven't left it this late before. Oh, they're just keeping us on our toes. you better come upstairs with me. I'll send Bill down here. It's just getting warm and all. Come on, you can't stand the telly anyway. Yeah, we'll look at it. It's all the same, innit? God. See what I mean? Not to hope. Right. Hello? Officer in charge, please. I estimate a surge of 12 feet in approximately 2 hours, 20 minutes time. High tide will be about an hour and a half after that, at 11.30. Thank you. That's it. What oh, we got, Emma? Look at that. You don't need more from that. You either can't get up till lunchtime or he's up at the crack of dawn. 
We are interrupting programs for a newsflash about a possible flood from the River Thames. Over to our reporter at the London Flood Room. An official warning of possible tidal flooding of London has been issued. The Thames may overflow its banks at about 11.30 a.m. today. The London Flood Room gives this warning to everyone who lives in, works in, or travels through a risk area about two miles either side of the River Thames. If you live in a flood risk area, you should stay in your home for further information and advice. Other people should not travel to or through the risk areas. In two hours' time, most bus, underground, and British Rail services will start to be withdrawn from the risk area. If your children's school is in the flood risk area, do not send them to school this morning. Make sure, as far as possible, that people around you know about the risk and tell them to tune into their radios. You should stay put. Listen to Radio London... Bloke from the council wasn't round the bend after all. I didn't say he was round the bend. I said we'd be round the bend if we start packing up and moving out. Hitler didn't move me and he's not going to. Just you eat your breakfast. Flooding. What do you want me to do? Build a blooming ark? Oh, Frank will be all right, any road. Jerry will bring him back as soon as he hears. They'll look after Arthur at work and... I'll take this up to our choice. But do not move until you hear the sirens or are told to do so. Stay tuned for further information and advice. Attention, please, attention, please. The public information officer confirms that the first London warning has been broadcast. The first London warning was broadcast at 07.30 hours. Thank you. Right. You take these two downstairs and send a couple of lads up the mall. Oh, and look in on Bill. It's going to be worse down there than it is up here to start with. I bet you a pound we're putting the bloody things away in an hour. I hope so. Don't fancy being caught down there. <laughs> Don't talk bloody silly. Get on with it. Have the other advice not to travel unless absolutely necessary. Services on the Piccadilly line southbound are being withdrawn immediately. Passengers for Leicester Square should take the westbound central line from Platform 2 to the change at Sutton Court Road. Passengers for Piccadilly Circus and all stations west to Acton Town should take the central line and change where possible. Passengers for Heathrow Airport should take the central line to Ealing Broadway. Please hurry and avoid congestion. Hey, Where have you been, son? Oh, yeah. Brahms again, was it? And police say heavy goods vehicles will be diverted as soon as possible. I'll repeat that. Police say they will turn away heavy goods vehicles from the Blackwall Tunnel pretty well as from now. Emma? How long's this been going on? Half oh, seven is the first time I heard about it. Just started then. Oh. Bloody marvellous. There's no bother now, is he? What? What's old Bill gonna do now? Eh? They got the old of bleeding London to sort out and all going one way. Out. Who's gonna bother looking for a couple of bent motors? Leave it out. And we'll be doing ourselves a favour. Nice and dry in Red Hill, innit? Go out in this lot for ten quid. You've got to be no, joking, no, no, son. No, no. I'm not talking about that load of rubbish what's it bought in yesterday. Oh no. Oh yes. You can have 500 to take the Lotus. You what? 500. I'll give it you in Red Hill. I'll take the Lotus. I don't know about it, Jerry. And another 500 Monday? Hey. Yeah, well, look on it as a loan, right? Look, I don't want nothing to do with this, Jerry. It's bent, all right? It's for a lifetime, my old son. Road's full of motors, right? And old Bill running raggy. Yeah. Long. Coffee? Ah, uh, you can come again. Thanks. Maybe I will. What are your plans for today? Office as usual. How about you? Oh, I have to check out before noon. Oh. We could go in together. If you like. Have I got time for a bath? Well, don't ask me. It's not my office. No, I wouldn't get much work done if it was. and the process of evacuation in Southwark is well underway, with council officials confident that temporary accommodation has been arranged for over 20,000 in the neighbouring boroughs of Bromley and Croydon.
What the ch London Transport has asked us to repeat our earlier warning to commuters travelling from the southeast into central London. Bus services are already being withdrawn as the risk of flooding increases. Those services which normally cross the Thames bridges are suffering more than central and peripheral routes. Passengers are strongly advised to stay at home if at all possible, and if you cannot avoid travelling, to seek alternative transport. Well, the first public warning of possible flooding in London was issued at 7.30, just over half an hour ago. We'll go over to James Talbot at the London Flood Control Centre. Oh, you don't think so? The latest developments there. No, I don't think so. Oh, are you starting to believe your own publicity? Oh, look, the whole River Thames isn't going to burst its banks. Well, Walter Dodds has decided to issue a London warning. Would he do that if he wasn't sure? A million people are going to be evacuated. Factories, offices, hospitals. You said it yourself. Would he do that if you had any doubts? There's always a doubt. The surge could fade. Yes, the wind could change. Oh, just like last time, huh? And take the North Sea across half of Holland. Well, I get it both ways, don't I? I can't lose. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I didn't think. Where's your wife? And the children? Visiting her mother. And then Helga. That's on the coast. Take Chris Six as well. It's people we're concerned about. The right. The minister has arrived. Any news from Tower Hamlets? Traffic's a bit thick, as you think. Mr. Dodds. Mm. The minister has arrived. Jolly good. David, how mm. would you rate that North Case? No, I couldn't say, I'm afraid. The pumping's been a bitch ever since we started. But why not just let a fill up and pump around afterwards? Along with the rest of them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, it's the best idea. You have to. Thank you, sir. Bracknell, sir. And Lester? So it's not speeded up. 2.7 at 8.15. Yes, it's on target, all right. That would make it about 3.5 at South End. Yes, I'm sure we'll be in touch. Yep. OK, 15 minutes. Uh, Minister, may I introduce Mr. Dodds, the engineer in charge? Mr. Dodds. Sir. Everything under control, I see. So far, Minister. Good, good. Now, what do you want me to do? I can't possibly go home now. Do you think my manager... If you think my manager's going to listen to that, you've got another thing coming. If I don't turn up today, I'm going to need more than just your say-so. It's not just my say-so, sir. Well, I've got a notice or something? Yes, sir. That one. Oh, Excuse very funny. Me. Excuse me, is the Piccadilly line still running? Which station, sir? Cox Foster's. Yes, sir. Change at home. Thank you very much. Haven't you, haven't you got an official notice? Of... Leaflet, anything. If your manager doesn't believe the BBC or you, sir, there's not a lot more I can do. Now, if you don't go home now, I shall see you in a couple of hours. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right, downstairs? Uh, yeah, fine. Not as busy as I thought it'd be. No, there's a lot leaving it to the last minute and a lot doing nothing at all about it. The buses are still running all right. Oh, Bill could do with a break. Uh, well, don't you think I'd better stay up here in the hall? I mean, things he's bound to pick up. I think Bill could do with a break. Yes. Right, well, uh, I'll go and do uh... Surge tide in the North Sea is not uncommon. Now, when a trough of low pressure moves eastward across the Atlantic towards the British Isles, the sea beneath it rises above its normal level, thus creating a hump. Now, the principal factors determining whether this is going to pose any threat to London and the East there Coast must be regions something right we up can the do. country are Listen to your own publicity. Stay at home. Tide, which this coincides with the surge and the strength of the wind in it a direction which either. assists the surge to build up on that tide. Now, normally, at this time of the year, the wind can be expected to come from the northeast, 
a cold, hard wind, sometimes is now gusting over 100 miles an hour off the north coast of Scotland. Ooh, now, weird, isn't it? In BBC always do this sort of thing very well. in an anti-clockwise direction in order to fill the vacuum of that low-pressure area. I've been standing for a bleed, man, and then crawling around half an hour. What do you expect, Jerry? Can't you get it nothing, going? I can't get nothing. Not a light. All right. Get in the roller. And you can forget that other 500. Come on, there's bloody cops everywhere. Nice. Right, Darling, I'm going to the flood room. There must be something I can do there. Answer the phone, make the tea. Mop up the floor. Give me a lift. I can walk home from there. Sure. If there's any news from Holland, they can get in touch with you at the flood room, can't they? That was pretty obvious, wasn't it? Yes. Come on. I refuse to believe there's nothing can be done. A great deal is being done, Minister. Evacuation, hardly a positive reaction. More positive than drowning, I would suggest. You're planning, I suppose. Not at all, Minister. Yours, I believe. By which I suppose you mean central government? Every sort of government for the last thousand years, anyway. You will simply allow one of the greatest cities in the world to fill up with water like a mud village? But I have no means of preventing it. Right, no, sir. The people of London will want the answers to a lot of questions when they get to their homes, Mr. Duncan. If they return to their homes, I believe they will. Hello. Yes, yes, I agree. Advanced at least 20 minutes. Yes, we're losing time. I told you they'd all leave it to the last minute. Would passengers please stand well clear of the tracks? Please stand well back from the edge of the platform. The next train is due in approximately one minute. Yes. The next train is due in approximately one minute's time. Thank you. Oxford Circus. They say they've been told to close down in ten minutes. Then they'll likely tell us to do the same, won't they? I was going to shut down that second escalator anyway. Slow them up a bit. It's all right. I'll do it if you like. Yeah, well, it's closed down here, that's all. All right, son. You do it. Will you be all right? Yes, fine. Call me. Scotland Yard, sir. Hello. Predicted high water at London Bridge is 4.4 meters, 11.32 hours. Observed high water has just reached that point, one hour and 27 minutes early. Surge at South End has been gauged at 3.7 metres. I expect flooding in central London in approximately one hour. Thank you.
Sun to Sun Flooding is expected to commence at 11.05 hours approximately. 11.05. Every underground station in London is closed. You're safer where you are. The police will direct you to safe ground and emergency accommodation. Oh, I don't want emergency accommodation. I want to go home. Then I should start walking, sir. I live in Onga, and I've got a season ticket. It's just not your day, is it, sir? Over to you, mate. It's a disgrace. Every... I've got a perfectly valid season ticket. I insist on London transport fulfilling its obligations. Come along, sir. Please. I'm going to complain to the authorities. I'm going to be ridiculous. I'm going to ring the police. Fine. A few upstairs, panicking like old women. <laughs> yeah, well, you'd expect a bit of that, wouldn't you? Yeah, it's only human. Yeah. Well, I'll just check down here. Make sure we haven't missed anyone. Yeah, right. See you upstairs. Five minutes. Yeah. Van Reep, working with Walter Dodds. Well, not much you can do now. What's the news from Holland? Hmm? Oh, yes, it's good. It's very good. Seem to have got away with it this time. This one stretch caught it rather badly. The place on the coast. Dan Halbert. Fraser? Yes? Let's go ahead. Flood one, sand over. Bravo X-ray zero one, grid reference five one zero seven eight six, breach with ten meters flooding, radius two hundred meters. Serial Gulf Romeo zero one, grid reference three nine nine seven nine three, breach with fifteen meters flooding Funnel Avenue. Serial Lima whiskey. Mum and our Joyce are upstairs with Brenda and the kids. 
Arthur's all right at work, and Jerry and Frank have gone off the bleeding country. They're well out of it then, ain't they? <laughs> yeah, all right. What did you expect? A miracle? From my vantage point here on the roof of London's County Hall, the Thames is no longer a river. The clear light of the winter sun is turning it into a silver lake. The River Thames has at last thrown off the confines that have been its banks for a thousand years. And this great, noble city lies helpless as the once friendly waters surge through its ancient streets. A long time ago, a compatriot of mine described London at the height of the German Blitz. And he said that London was burning. It is my unhappy task to report to you yet another tragic view of this lovely city. London is drowning.